welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see the realization, which is a direct form realization of FIR filters. So we have already done a video on the basics of block diagram and control systems. And also we have done all the IIR filter realizations. So in this video, we are going to see the direct form realization of FIR filters. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the direct form realization of FIR filters. So if you don't know anything about the block diagram or signal flow graph concept, please do watch the video on block diagram and signal flow graph basics. I've explained uh, about the basic elements and how we actually draw block diagram and how we actually draw the signal flow graph in that video. It is in the DSP playlist. Okay. So here we are going to do the direct form realization of FIR filters. There is various type of realizations. There is direct form, there is cascade form, lattice structure. All these realizations are possible for FIR filters. But today we are going to discuss about only direct form realization. Also, we have done a series of videos on IIR filter realizations. Okay. So, how to do a direct form realization? We'll directly do a question. Okay. It is very simple actually. So, for realization, we'll be given a transfer function H of Z. So, in question, you will get a transfer function h of z and I am going to take a transfer function h of z equal to 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 1 minus 3 z raised to minus 2 minus 4 z raised to minus 3 plus 5 z raised to minus 4. So, this is my transfer function. So, before realizing, you should know that here the, the values 2, minus 3, minus 4, 5. So, all these things are actually constants, okay. And these constants we are actually writing as branch weights in the block diagram. Also, you can see that there is elements z raised to minus 1, z raised to minus 2, z raised to minus 3 and z raised to minus 4. So, in order to get these elements, we have to pass our input signal x of z through multiple delay elements okay so this is a very small concept i'm telling you when we are actually doing it you will get a clear picture so the first step is you have to write h of z as y of z by x of z we know that h of z is equal to y of z by x of z output by input so i'm going to write h of z as y of z by x of z then cross multiply so, y of z by x of z is equal to this. So, I will write it 2 z raised to minus 1 minus 3 z raised to minus 2 minus 4 z raised to minus 3 plus 5 z raised to minus 4. Now, cross multiply this x of z to this term. So, you will get y of z equal to x of z into this term. Now, open the bracket you will get x of z plus 2 z raised to minus 1 x of z minus 3 z raised to minus 2 x of z minus 4 z raised to minus 3 x of z. Then last term I am writing it below plus 5 z raised to minus 4 x of z. Now you only require this term. So, this is equal to here there is a y of z. Okay. So, you only require this equation to realize. You don't need further deduction or converting to the, uh, I mean, this is in the z transform. You don't need to convert it back to the discrete form or anything. So, you just require this much to actually draw your block diagram. Okay. So, I'm going to draw the block diagram. Let me just make some space and draw. Okay. So, I am going to write this transfer function above first so that I will get space. So, y of z is equal to x of z plus 2 z raised to minus 1 x of z minus 3 z raised to minus 2 x of z minus 4 z raised to minus 3 x of z plus 5 z raised to minus 4 x of z. So, this is my transfer function or my output equation okay 
Now I'm going to start drawing the block diagram. You can also have a signal flow graph uh, way, that is signal flow graph representation for the same. But here I'll be only drawing block diagram because most commonly you will be uh, asked to draw the block diagram only. Okay. So there is a x of z. So the first term is x of z then plus so you have to pass this to a summing point or a summing element then plus 2 z raised to minus 1 x of z. So there is an z raised to minus 1 term. So you have to add a unit delay element. If you don't know anything about the delay element or the summing point, I'm telling it once again, please do watch the, the basic video on block diagrams and signal flow graphs. Okay. So x of z is passing through the or it is coming to this point into z raised to minus 1. And it is coming in this way. And also there is a 2. So 2 is a raised to minus 1 into x of z. So 2. Sorry. So x of z into z raised to minus 1. And there is a 2 as a branch weight. So here the signal coming is 2 z raised to minus 1 x of z. Then. Again you have to add it again. So pass to another adding or summing element. Then the next term is minus 3 z raised to minus 2. So there is a z raised to minus 2 right. So this x of z first pass through an z raised to minus 1. If you again pass it to an z raised to minus 1 you will get z raised to minus 2. That is you just have to put a z raised to minus 1 element here or a unit delay element here. I will tell it once again. See this x of z is coming in this direction. First it is getting multiplied with or it is passing through this element. So here you will be getting z raised to minus 1 x of z. If it is again allowed to pass through another delay element, here you will be getting what as output z raised to minus 2 x of z. Right. So that is our required term. Also there is a minus 3 which you will be putting as a branch weight. Okay. So, Z, that is you will be getting Z raised to minus 2 into minus 3 X of Z. Again, you have to pass through another delay element and you will be getting Z raised to minus 3 X of Z. Right. And the constant term or the coefficient is minus 4. Again, that has to be given to a summing point. Okay. Then, the last term is z raised to minus 4 x of z. That is 5 z raised to minus 4 x of z. So, again, pass through z raised to minus 1. And the branch weight will be plus 5 or simply 5. Then, you have to add it again and the output coming is nothing but y of z. So totally how many delay elements you require for drawing this equation. So the highest degree for the z term is z raised to minus 4. So minus 4 means you require 4 unit delay elements. This will produce a z raised to minus 1. If you again pass through it. That is, if you again pass its x of z through another delay element, you will get z raised to minus 1 x of z. If you again pass through another delay element, you will be getting z raised to minus 3 x of z. If you again pass it, you will be getting z raised to minus 4 x of z. So, that is what we are actually doing it. We are actually making the signal, that is the same signal to pass through multiple delay, delay elements. And at the output of each delay element, you will be getting x of, uh, that is z raised to minus 1 is a raised to minus 2, is a raised to minus 3 and is a raised to minus 4. And whatever these constants are, you are going to put it as the branch weights. That is 2, minus 3, minus 4 and 5. Okay. So this is how you draw realization of FIR filters, which is the direct form realization. And this is the 
this is the block diagram looking like okay so here you are passing x of z and you are getting the output as pi of z and you are requirement you are requiring four summing elements also okay now we are going to do one more question or one more equation of realizing fir filters using direct form realization So the next equation or the transfer function we are going to realize is this h of z equal to 1 plus 5 by 2 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 2 plus 2 z raised to minus 3. So by looking into the equation we can say that how many summing elements we require. We require 1, 2, 3 summing elements. Then how many delay elements we need. We need 3 delay elements since it is minus 3 we need 3 delay elements. Okay. So first we will write this h of z in the form y of z by x of z and then equal to this equation. So I am going to directly multiply that is cross multiply it. So you will be getting y of z equal to x of z into 1 plus 5 by 2 z raised to minus 1 plus 2 z raised to minus 2 plus 2 z raised to minus 3. I am going to multiply it inside and I will be getting x of z plus 5 by 2 z raised to minus 1 x of z plus 2 z raised to minus 2 x of z plus 2 z raised to minus 3 x of z. So this is my final equation to be realized that this is equal to y of z. Okay. So now I am going to start drawing the block diagram. So my input signal is x of z. That is getting passed through a summing element. Then that is first. So this is my first term. I have got it. The second term is 5 by 2 z raised to minus 1. So there is an z raised to minus 1 element. Then this branch has a weight of 5 by 2. Again we have to pass through another delay element to produce z raised to minus 2. Then its branch weight for this branch will be 2. Okay. Just add or pass it to another summing element. Again, pass the same x of z to another delay element. You will be getting z raised to minus 3. And what is the branch weight of this branch? It will be 2. And same signal getting passed to the next summing element. And here you will get your output y of z. Okay. So x of z plus z raised to minus 1 into 5 by 2 x of z which is a second term. Third term will be z raised to minus 2 into 2 x of z. Then the next term will be z raised to minus 3 into 2 x of z and this will be your output y of z. Okay. So this is how you draw the realization of FIR filters using direct form realization. You just have to write your given transfer function in y of z by x of z form and then cross multiply and open the bracket. So you will be getting an expression like this and you have to just realize using the block diagram realization. And I am really hoping that you understood how the signal flow is happening here. When uh, that is how many delay element we require, how many summing element we require. I will just give you a brief that how many summing is there in your equation how many summing elements are there in your equation that much summing elements you require and also what is the largest degree of your z raised to minus term that much delay elements also you require here there is three so z raised to three z raised to minus one blocks very simple the other things you have to mark the the constant values as a branch weight okay and also always try to indicate with the help of arrowheads so this is how you do direct form realization of FIR filters. I am really hoping that you understood how to do the uh, direct form realization. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.